guys, it's the Black Hiking Queen. Today I'm doing another hike and I'm gonna take y'all with me. So what are you doing to keep cool in the summer? I started using the Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer with SPF 50 plus, so it has sunscreen. And so far it's been really good. It's keeping my face protected from the sun. I'm not sponsored by Cetaphil, I just really like their products. Another thing is I started wearing hats. Um, I'm not that big of a hat person, but I started to wear it just cause I don't wanna get a really bad sunburn. So definitely hat is a must if you're gonna go hiking in the summer. I don't hike between 11 really and 6 p.m. just cause I just wanna be on the safer side. I don't wanna get um, burned by the sun. So the recommended time to hike really is like early morning at sunrise um, or later in the afternoon or evening. And that is something that I'll probably be doing unless I'm somewhere else in another state that's not as hot as Texas. But while I'm in Texas, definitely gonna have to hike um, whenever it's early in the morning or later in the afternoon, which I don't mind either. Another thing that I'm doing to keep cool is making sure I bring enough water. So make sure you carry enough water. Just carry more than you think you need. Water is for sure a necessity if you're planning to go hiking in the this heat. I do have another video that I posted about how much water you should take when you're hiking, so check out that video. Just remember safety first when you're outside hiking. Uh, if your body's telling you that you're dehydrated, it's because you most likely are. If your body's telling you you're tired, you probably are, and you should probably go home. So just listen to your body. It will tell you what you need. I hope y'all have a good summer hiking, stay hydrated, drink that H2O. Thank you for watching this video and I will see y'all on the next hike.